guys so today I've got another tip for you and it's diff lockers and locking differentials in the axles on your Tamiya trucks now people I know do this and they can pack it up with grease so it kinda locks as it winds like a proper car but it's not too clever is it, it's not the best or I've known people to just put the diff together and <laughs> fill it with Loctite that's also not the best so locking a differential now it's done very 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 simple so we're going to take your diff how you put this together now it's all down to this maybe your three pins thing and normally you put all three little bevels on there this time we're just going to put the one in and we're going to sit that in there there you go, you dislocked that's all you need to do literally take one bevel off here and put it into there or the other way you can do it is keep all three bevels on buy a spare set and use an extra bevel but yeah that's it guys that's your diffs locked they can't rotate against that one because it's spinning in the same direction so it just jams in the middle now that's the most efficient way of locking your diffs on your trucks without filling them with Loctite and everything else so we'll just pop this back together when you go to put this on sometimes the cap doesn't always sit flush whereas in this case it did this time <laughs> but sometimes you won't get a flush thing around there all I do is put that in just give it all a waddle and let it settle itself in there and then just proceed to um, screw that up so that is now a lock differential now if I were to put that in there as you can see look it's not rotating it will not turn the cogs inside it's not an open diff anymore so when you proceed to pop the other end in you can see it's I'm turning this one way and that the other and it's just biting against itself so when that's in now it will only rotate one way all wheels turning at the same time now that is the most simplest way you can lock your differentials without having to pack them up with Loctite and stuff them with grease so I'll show you that again real quick so then you get a gist I will be taking these apart again to do a video for my grand hauler build so you will require some grease in there and stuff so show you again there will be a washer on to now we've got that in now this where you pop one on each we'll leave one off just two on that pin now between the little rivet things I'm going to pop that in the same way but just between right so just then this can sit over the top so that's in there now again um, next bevel again just back on top 
You're literally just constructing the diff how you would in the instructions apart from you taking this bevel off this pin and putting it to the back here just to jam them. That's all it is. That's all it is. Right on there. And again with your cap. There we go. As you can see that one's not sat quite flush. This is the fiddliest part, is just trying to get them all to sit flush. They will go flush. I promise you that, because we've just done one there. <laughs> and if that fails, where you just can't get it flush at all, just keep moving the diffs, just in each position. Just keep moving them round one. Just keep waggling. They will go eventually. But that's the fiddliest part of it. But it's the most reliable way of locking your differentials. And just proceed to pop that back together. Those now are both locked. Now, um, I don't have a truck I can show you in, but try it. There's just no opposite, there's no like limited slip in the differential and nothing, it's just locked. So if you're on the outdoor layouts a lot and stuff, then this is ideal, really ideal. So, you can go now ahead and try this yourself, and do it if you're willing to have your diffs locked. Um, I'll be repeating this process again in my grand older build. So yeah, I hope you found that one um, a useful tip on how to lock the diffs. So thanks for watching. Uh, Happy RCing, take care and I'll catch you in the next video when we uh, proceed to build some more Grand Ola. Oh, ciao for now guys.